step one, or excuse me, option one, is to set a goal to reduce your expenses by a certain number. So as an example, you might say, I really want to reduce my monthly expenses by $500, right? That's option one. Option two is you could set a goal to keep your spending within a certain amount. So maybe you'll set a goal saying, I want to cap my monthly expenses at $5,000 a month. So option one, we wanna cut expenses by $500. Option two, we're gonna set a cap on expenses of $5,000. Here's what you need to know. There is no right or wrong answer. Whether you go with option one or you go with option two, it doesn't matter. So I don't want you to get stuck in the noise of that. What I want you to do is the one that feels the most natural. And what I'm gonna do is I actually wanna come a little bit bigger screen now for a moment because I wanna I want you to zone in on me right now, okay? I know that the number side of your business, that the money side, it can get really noisy, all right? It can get really intimidating and really scary and we get frustrated and we get overwhelmed. Remember, former financial hot mess. So I get you, I see you. So what I want you to really understand is that the best way to be successful with managing your money is to keep it simple. Number one, we're always gonna keep it simple, but we also need to respect the way in which our brain works, right? So there is no right or wrong answer to this one because the reason I'm giving you two different ways is because I wanna highlight all of our brains work differently when it comes to money. Okay, this is just the reality, right? When it comes to math and numbers, our brains will see things in different ways. So I'm giving you these two options and you're gonna pick the one that literally makes the most sense to you. You cannot get it wrong, okay? So this is a comfort comfortability thing and it's something I'm doing because I just have seen working with so many entrepreneurs and dealing with numbers, we all kind of see it through a different lens. So again, don't stress over this. You're going to go with the option that makes the most sense for you. Option one, how much do you want to set cut expenses by? Or option two, what's the max you want to spend on your expenses?